Hello friends, how's it hanging? Okay, great. Before we get into this video, I would just like to draw attention to something that's probably already drawing your attention because it looks like Kelly Kapowski threw up all over my boobs. I just want Kelly Kapowski to puke on my tits. Anyway, if you've been here, you probably already know what I'm about to say. If you're new here, listen up. Also, if you've been here, listen up. Everyone that's watching right now, you better listen. Start a video by threatening the audience. Oh. Bra has yet again come out with a new design for their swim, okay? It was the beginning of March when they launched the hot pink one, which I really just can't wait until we're all out of quarantine and I can actually like wear that to the beach instead of like wearing it, but then like being indoors, you know? I'm so excited. This one, I didn't think I was gonna love it as much as I did when I put it on. Like I saw it and I was like, it's super freaking cute, but is it like gonna look good on me? I feel like I could lead a jazzercise class. I feel like I could fit right in and Saved by the Bell, the one where they go to Hawaii for the summer and like work at that beach club, you know what I'm talking about? Anyway, this is Up Bra's new design and it's called Mod. They have a bunch of colors actually, but this one is just like, okay. Hi, I'm here. Anyway, I haven't even done the thing yet, which if you're new here, basically Up Bra, first of all, lifts your boobs to the gods. We know this, okay? Don't look at my nails. I just ripped them off, okay? They look like really messed up. There's these two adjusters right here that you pull and then you can hook it onto one of these, whichever one you want to get, you know, maximum lift. I go about halfway because that's pretty much all my boobs will allow. Either that or my arm strength. I don't really know. Next side. And there you have it. Your boobs can be as lifted as you would like them to be and more. I say this every time, but like if I had this before I had my boobs done, I know this would literally change my life in a way that I can't even fathom. I mean, it still makes a huge difference. Like I'm not used to seeing my boobs look this big because I normally don't wear a bra or I wear like a bralette but when I wear a normal bikini they definitely don't look like this okay <laughs> I've had my sister try it on I've had Courtney try it on I've had a few of my friends try it on and ultimately buy their own and it can be worn strapless and it stays up which is the best thing ever because strapless bras and swimsuits literally never stay up not only does it stay up but like it keeps your boobs up you don't have to wear that if you don't want if you don't want the tan lines or whatever now I'm like Kelly Kapowski all grown up or Jesse Spano all grown up, but I, I feel more like, I know Kelly's a brunette, but like, I feel like she would wear this for sure. Of course, there's also bottoms, which I am wearing. I'm wearing shorts over them right now because I don't want to get demonetized. I'll probably be demonetized anyway. But here's those. Stop looking at my dick and start looking at my boobs that are pushed up to the heavens because they are holy. Just... Okay, ignore the, ignoring the band-aid. This is just so cute. I'm pale right now, clearly, as I'm sure most of us are, unless you're like self-tanning, and it still looks good with my skin tone and everything, so that's exciting. As always, I have a code for you guys. It's just Annalise of Bra20. You can use the code anywhere on their site. You can get yourself a bra, you can get yourself a swimsuit. At this point, okay, I'm literally gonna make a playlist of all of my up bra videos, because I first of all, I wanna see how many there are. Second of all, if you ever wanna go and see like what each of them look like and like their functions, I feel like that would be helpful. So yeah, I'll link up bra below as well as my code. Thank you, Upbra, once again for sponsoring my boobs. Let's get on to the rest of what I got during this quarantine because this is just one of many, okay? So I figured now was a perfect time to start this video because I'm about to purchase something. I'm purchasing a dresser for the inside of my closet because I just have like bins and then like a three drawer plastic thing and then I have to like stack up shirts on shelves and their stacks are like this high like i have so many clothes i have way more clothes that i fold than clothes that i hang so i'm getting this four drawer chest and it has really good reviews it's originally 400 dollars and it's on sale for 183 i'm gonna put it in my closet i even measured you know what i didn't measure was the depth i'm sure it's fine well Anyway, I figure if I have an actual dresser, then I can, it's just gonna save space and I'm gonna be able to keep things actually folded. Someone just sent me $100 with Apple Pay. God damn, I love OnlyFans. <laughs> I'm sure this video is gonna take some time to film because a lot of the stuff that I ordered, probably most of the stuff, hasn't come yet. I have actually already bought a lot of things that have come since this quarantine situation. Let me buy this really quick, then I'll explain. This won't be here till the 21st. Okay, so I placed my order right before I did this. Let me just tell you. Did I forget to put on bottom mascara? Yeah, I did. Ah, 
Right before I ordered that dresser, I also just placed an order on Doll's Kill because they're having a buy one get one 50% off today. I feel like I did great. Wait, I just realized, so I have Honey, the extension, not sponsored even though they sponsor everyone. And so it is buy one get one, so I chose two things that were both $36. I would have saved like $18 if it was half off, but I'm realizing that Honey applied a code and it saved me $22. So that's better than the buy one get one 50% off. I wonder what that is. Maybe, mm, Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, I think I paid for three to five day shipping, so I'm sure those will be included in this video. But yeah, I'll kind of just show you stuff as it comes in. Two orders from Pizza Slime. A misguided order, which I'm excited about. That one I ordered a long time ago. I wonder if I could track that right now. Oh, I ordered from Etsy. I ordered this face mask that has like Louis Vuitton print on it. Just encourage you all to shop at Etsy. Let me just look at my... I literally have a folder in my email that's for like packages and so i can always just go back and look okay lulu's not sure what that is amazon the weekend express scripts that's my meds amazon misguided pizza slime etsy pizza slime dolls kill now i have wayfair i figured this was a good time to start off this video because number one i was buying that dresser number two i heard a package be delivered a bit ago and i have a feeling it's one of my pizza slime orders so let me go check Yay! You know it's pizza slime when it comes in a pizza box. I was kind of mad because um I placed an order for this and there was another thing that I wanted but it was out of stock. And then like the next day after I ordered this, the other thing came back in stock and I was like, shit, now I gotta pay double shipping. But I'm kind of glad because now I get two pizza boxes. <laughs> okay, I guess this will be the first thing in this video even though it's not necessarily the first thing I ordered. But who cares? You don't care. Ooh, <laughs> If you don't know what pizza slime is, basically <laughs> you're probably most familiar with them for their sweatpants that say stop looking at my dick. They have a lot of other really cool stuff. They get sold out of a lot of stuff. They're always sold out of the Air One sweatsuit. There's sweatpants and a sweatshirt, which I really, really want, but they're literally always sold out. It's overpriced shit. Literally the Air One sweatsuit, like it's just champion sweats and a champion uh, crew neck sweatshirt, and I believe it's $300. So it's one of those things. I'll link everything that I got in this haul below, everything that I can find and remember. And none of this stuff that I'm going to show you is sponsored. You guys already know that this is sponsored by Upbra, which I also got during quarantine, okay? So don't come for me. But um, first and foremost, I'm gonna take a photo of this box on Instagram. Bug is having fun with the packaging. Okay, I know what this is. I am excited. I mean, I'm assuming this is the first thing I ordered. Oh no, that means that the other thing I ordered might not come for like a week or so, because they're only shipping once a week. And what if they happen to ship the day that I ordered this? Because then the next day was the day that I ordered the next thing. I don't know, whatever. It's really not that crucial. Yes, bitch. Hi, pizza slime. Thank you for being gang. To show you how much we appreciate you, here's a big ass sticker of Kylie with her dogs autographed by Jay-Z and Beyonce. Bitch, what? You know, once you start TikTok, if you don't have the sweatpants that say stop looking at my dick, do you act have you actually started TikTok? No, I will say, I did not want to get the sweatpants because I know that they'll just be way too big for me and I would rather have something that fits me. The sweatpants come in like small, medium, or medium, large. However, the sweat shorts came in a small. And yeah, it's like a men's small because it's unisex and everything. But look at that. There's a drawstring. They're literally champion brand shorts. Like they're not even like super thick or like they're not even like soft. Like they're not like the sweatpant material. They're like lightweight. And these were $60, I want to say. So it's like, but the sweats were 80. And then the ones that I really would have gotten if they were in stock, even though, like I said, the sweatpants come in like small, medium. They had the stop looking at my dick sweats that are bedazzled. Would have gotten those, but they were out of stock. They also have the stop looking at my dick and start focusing on what does it say stop looking at my dick and start thinking about how your actions impact climate change something like that i got these and i can't wait to make tiktoks in them you know if you get it you get it if you don't you're like you're a fucking idiot for spending 60 dollars on shorts that say stop looking at my dick and come in a pizza box when you don't even have a dick and like you know they also have a hoodie that says stop looking at my tits but i was like eh it's not relatable enough <laughs> oh my gosh they sent me a cat where should i put this First of all, her dogs are so cute. I didn't know she had weenies. I thought she just had... She literally has the two types of dogs that I'm obsessed with. Oh, wait, is that a little beagle too? Is that a chicken? 
I can't wait to have two pizza slime pizza boxes. And I'm definitely making some TikToks wearing these tonight. It's raining outside. What the fuck else am I going to do? Okay, guys, I've moved locations. I took some time. Literally just spent like an hour and a half. What was I even doing? Okay, so I was like looking around for stuff that I have bought during quarantine. Okay, you know, that's what this video is. So I was looking through like my closets. And then I got another idea for a video when I was looking through my closet. And so then I like whatever. But I'm just kind of astounded by the amount of things that I'm currently surrounded by. I still have like so many things on the way. I probably should start off by showing you like the big things that aren't in my pile right now. Let me just, okay, so you can obviously see there's some stuff right here, right? Yeah, there's stuff there. But like, this is a stack of clothes. That's, I don't even, I don't even know. I guess let's just get into it. I'll start showing you the shit that I bought during quarantine. If it's clothing, I may or may not try it on. I'll definitely try on the stuff that I ordered online. I will say that like most of this stuff, actually I went to Target the night before. I mean, technically it was still like social distancing, I think, but I, it was like March 16th and I feel like it was like the 17th when I remember like the gyms shutting down and stuff like that. But anyway, I remember going to Target on March 16th. That was like the last time I've gone to just like go to Target, you know, instead of just like, let me run in the grocery store Store. well let me wait in line outside and then go in the grocery store like that was the last time I made like a target trip and for some reason I just like bought a good amount of stuff not for some reason probably because I do that every time but since I already knew that this whole quarantine thing was gonna happen I was warned about it early March and I didn't believe the family members that were telling me I was like how how would you even know you know connections and shit um anyway so I bought like a bunch of comfy lounge clothes while I was there also so I would say the majority of this stuff is from that target trip watch me have to make a part two of this video even though I've been like waiting to film this for my packages to get here. You guys have already seen, I think you've already seen all three of these things, but I'll just show you real quick because they are like bigger purchases that I made during quarantine. My exercise bike desk. You know, if this is a thing, if you're someone that likes to like cycle and you uh, want to work at the same time, I don't, to be honest, I bought this on a whim because I was super antsy and I wanted to go outside and walk around, but it was raining. And I was like, I don't know how long we're going to be in quarantine. This is, I don't know about this. So I went on Amazon and I found an exercise bike so that I could at least like move my legs in some way. Long story short, I've used it one and a half times. I don't enjoy the concept. You guys saw me put this together is this gold floor lamp. The bulbs in there are colored bulbs that I control with an app. I have them white during the day and then usually at night I'll do like pink and purple and blue or some shit. I don't know. I also have color bulb like colored lights kind of on the shelves. I have some like Oh! I have a couple of the color changing lights in my bathroom because I like to, when I shower, just like keep the bathroom shower light off and then put those on so it's like colorful in there. And then I have a colorful speaker that like flashes to the music beat. I don't know, I just really like colors, okay? Even this lamp over here, that gold one, I put a colored bulb in that one too because they came in packs of two, so I got four. It, it was just too dark, especially like over here. So I definitely wanted to get this light over here. And then lastly, you're probably seeing above me, this guy on my wall. This is just like an art piece. It's a wall art. I don't have a headboard. I didn't intend on really getting one. I thought about doing like the tapestry thing or like, I don't know. I just, I more so wanted just like something pretty up there. So I got this gold piece of art. I do like it. It did come broken though. It's not a huge deal. I used Gorilla Glue to glue it back together. But yeah, it did come broken. It's the Cosmopolitan brand. I think it's a little too expensive for what it is. I think it's... Eh. but it's hung now and so it's gonna stay there okay back to the floor in my hoarding pile actually oddly enough that basket right there it's like a fabric basket this is also something i recently got i got it like during that target haul that i talked about because i just needed like i have underneath my bed so many okay what is this video turning into this is supposed to be what i bought during quarantine i bought this during quarantine because i needed a place to put like some random stuff you know like the ball i use for my back for my scoliosis, I was gonna say scoliotic. Is that even a word? Did I just make scoliosis with amniotic? My scoliosis infused back. So I, I put that, that's in the corner for now. It's not gonna stay there. Once I get a few of the things that I've ordered, especially the dresser, there will be a lot less stuff just like sitting out, which there, I've already done a pretty good job of like not having a lot of stuff sitting out, but um, yeah. Anyway, it kind of goes with this little fabric basket that I have here. Go back to my hoarding hole. It's not a hole. <laughs> oh, well, now someone is sitting in the spot that I was sitting on. May have to adjust for this. 
You're sitting in my spot. Let's just get through all of it right now. I'll go fast through it all. <laughs> I mean, all of it that I, number one, that I have at the moment, and number two, that I can remember that I've purchased in like the last month. Cause I'm, well, actually, I know there's a lot of stuff in the laundry at the moment. Does it even exist if it's in the laundry? I don't know. Let's just start with clothes. I got fishnets. I got crotchless and boobless lingerie. No, I will not be trying this on for this haul. I do only fans, so I did have to like buy some stuff for work. I got these little slippers. These are from Target. They're really fluffy and they're actually quite comfortable. I was supposed to start with clothes. That was technically whatever. I got these silicone boob. Wait. This is a sticky bra, but it's not what I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be different. It was packaged, so I couldn't see what it actually looked like. And I thought it was just gonna be like just nipple covers. These these are like you just stick them onto your boob. I don't I don't really need these, but these were sent to me, okay? So I didn't buy them. But they're white shorts that like tie up on the side. They're really cute. I got sent like a bunch of leggings and active wear and stuff. I decided to just show you these and just like you've seen leggings and shit before, you know? Maybe if I just move my clothes pile closer to me, this will be easier. All right, rapid fire, bitch. Let's go. I believe these are all from Target. I got this shirt. It was not cropped. I cropped it myself. Same time I got that. Well, I got these all either. I got these all within one or two trips. I got this one, which is Michelangelo. And it has a Michelangelo painting and I cropped it. This is so freaking cute. Like, this is some shit that you would get on Doll's Kill and it would be like, th th this would probably be like $36. I got some jean shorts that have buttons all the way up. Been living in like sweat shorts since this whole quarantine thing happened because they're just so comfy. By the way, don't come for my extensions. I dyed these yesterday. They're, cl they're shitty clippings that I was gonna get rid of anyway. Found a bottle of pink hair dye. I sprayed them. I clipped them in. I gave myself a haircut and like I trimmed them and everything. And then I took them out at the end of the day and then I clipped them back in today because it's probably the last day that I'm gonna wear them because I'm gonna be over them, you know? I know they're not like blended well. I didn't dye my actual hair. I'm just having a moment right now, so just please don't comment about my hair. Or do. I actually don't care. Just wanted to let you know that. Moving on. This is actually going to be the longest video ever, and I'm going to have so much footage to go through, and I already have no space left, so I need to buy another external hard drive. That's another thing that's going to be in this video, is an external hard drive, because I need to get one. But every time I've gone to the store to see if they have one, they don't have them. I got more jean shorts. They're like a really light wash acid wash. I like them. At night, I sleep in giant oversized t-shirts. It's my favorite way to sleep. I found this one and it's even cooler anyway, so I'm not mad about it. Okay, as I said, I've been living in like sweat shorts and what I mean by that, well, there's like a few, a few varieties, but basically I already have probably 30 pairs of like sweat shorts, but when I went to Target that one day, I was just like, I gotta get comfy clothes and they happen to have just like a lot of really cute ones. I have these gray ones. Oh, they're like dolphin like they go up on the side. They're kind of like Sophie's but better quality I also got these in black. They're currently in my hamper. These are my favorite kind of shorts to wear a little bit longer You know like more boyish. These are so comfy I wish they had more like more colors more just in general, but this was like the only pair I could find it happened to be an extra small They're so soft so thick. They have freaking pockets like i'm pretty sure these were like nine dollars no seven dollars all of target's like basic shit like this is good quality and it's so cheap and these are just everything but they're so soft i have some pairs already so i knew i was gonna like these but i didn't have this color like a charcoal color they're super soft i just love sweat shorts okay um these ones i got they're way too freaking big i don't understand how sometimes it seems like it's just this brand maybe sometimes target just runs so big maybe they do run big in general and that's why i fit into a double zero shorts all of those shorts that i just showed you they're all extra smalls but they're all like they don't fit my waist even when I wear them on my actual waist not like high-waisted I don't know why they do that but I got these tie-dye shorts I can't even wear them because they literally fall off my body but they're cute and I have the matching sweatshirt somewhere sweatshirts really cute you guys have seen my like lime green <laughs> couple of vlogs ago I have like these lime green tie-dyed sweats and then I have the matching pullover crew neck sweatshirt that matches it when you wear them together you look crazy and it's great but Tari has a lot of cute tie-dye shit right now. I wish these fit better. Maybe you want to... I think I did wash them, though. I don't know. So those didn't quite fit in the Colsey brand. These are Wild Fable, which tends to fit better. Extra small <laughs> tie-dye shorts. And these ones fit. And they're cuter, I think. And they have the elastic waist. You can wear them higher waist. I'm spending too much... See, the thing is, I don't do videos like this. And if I'm doing a video where I'm showing clothes, I'm, like, describing them and trying them on. So I can be more vague. I'm sorry. I'll do better. I didn't get the matching sweatshirt though, so 
be proud of me. They were out of like every size, so that's why I didn't get it. Also, in another tie-dye short, how many tie-dye shorts did I get, man? These are different though because they're biker shorts, tie-dye biker shorts. I have these the same style in hot pink. They fit okay. There isn't a butt, like there's no room for a butt. But they do fit like your waist if you don't wear them super high waisted and the legs but like if you have a butt it's gonna not really fit in there and it's gonna look kind of weird but i wore like the hot pink ones last night with a really long zip up like navy tie-dye hoodie so you couldn't see my butt you could just see like the hot pink pinking out pink pinking out there the thing the reason that there's so many of these is because literally i think these were three dollars these were four i don't everything is crazy cheap even maybe i'll show you when i go over there um, because I have to go over to Chad's apartment to show you some other stuff that I've bought. But I've gotten him a bunch of like lounge shorts from the men's section. I got myself a pair. I got us matching ones. Um, but I realized that they just like, they don't even stay on my body. So I ended up giving him like all of mine. But even the men's ones that are super nice quality, literally a thousand times better quality than <laughs> the ones that I just spent $60 on. And comfy and soft and they were $5. I could, I should have just got like, black shorts from there and ironed that on but whatever two more pairs of shorts these are another one of the like longer super comfy lounge ones these are like a light purple color and they say nasa how cute are these like these are hella cute i think i did a tiktok in these too one of my favorite things is being like super comfy but also looking like stylish i don't know I enjoy it and then these I just walked by and saw them and I was like oh let me grab those and I also did a TikTok wearing these actually like two TikToks wearing these and they're literally little boys and they are swim trunks but they're neon yellow and they're speedo and I like them I like to just wear them just a pro tip they were like four dollars again like it's insane okay and the last of the clothes right oh no 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 one more thing, sorry. These are just black sweats, Wild Fable. Black sweats, they have pockets. They're really comfy sweats. Um, they're not like my favorite. They're not thin, I don't know what it is. They're, I guess they're just not like when you would go to Walmart and go to the men's section and get like the Hanes sweats and they were just so comfy. They're just not that, so I guess that's why I'm like a little bit like butthurt about it. They're cute and they fit and they have pockets and they're soft, so just plain black sweats. I also got them in gray. Those are in the wash. The last clothing right now, which is actually three things, but they're all the same, okay? Just different colors. I saw this, it's like waffle material, like thermal, but it's a tank top and it's there's a little V in it. I'm sure you guys have seen me wear this. I was gonna say, I'm sure you've seen me wear it in a vlog, but I haven't been vlogging, but I know like I've worn this like on an Instagram story or something. I don't know, I've been wearing this stuff, but I guess I haven't been vlogging, so anyway. And then I got the exact same thing. This one's inside out, but I'm not gonna turn it right side in just because you know what it is, it's yellow. Okay, now I guess I'm gonna turn it. Oh, inspector number 16, shout out to you. That's weird because I've worn this and washed it. I love the idea of wearing yellow. I don't look good in yellow. I just look like a sweet potato because normally when I don't have the pink, no pink, just, <laughs> just blonde you get it and then my skin like when i wear yellow i tend to just look like some kind of yam so but i still liked it and then i got it in black i really like these there's like deodorant on that cool again these were like three or four dollars so hello like you can have so many options and spend less than i spent on one pair of don't look at my dick shorts so okay i have moved <laughs> i bought a ferminator because my cat sheds a lot as you can see, it's still in wait, medium to large cat. Holy shit, is this gonna be too big for her? They only had one option. Okay, I got a Ferminator. Oh. This is not that exciting or something I should be including in this, but I got menstrual discs, which I have yet to try, but I want to. I'm on my period right now. It literally just started, but I'm like too scared to. I don't know. I got an epilator because I was going to start getting laser hair removal on my armpits, but then like quarantine. So we'll see. I also have one of those like at home laser things, but I've literally never tried it. So this was a little... This was a little unnecessary. I have a bunch of these, like, you know, like the 23andMe, but like food sensitivity. I've done the food sensitivity one. You guys have all seen that. But I got like a bunch of other fun ones. I got a vitamin D, an inflammation. I got a different food intolerance one from a different brand because it includes more things. Different vitamins, vitamins. Just like, you know, to see. When you go to the lab and you get specific vitamins checked, like they add, it really adds up. Like you can spend so much fucking money 
testing for you know like b vitamins d vitamins hormones like all of that and like i haven't done any of them yet but i should because what better time than now i also got chad a testosterone one because he says he's never had his testosterone checked which is alarming. Obviously, I've gotten like a lot of groceries and household stuff and small things here and there, makeup or whatever, but I'm not including any of that in this, but I did want to include a couple things. I got one of these makeup eraser things and it's great and you don't have to use makeup wipes and it's so much better for the environment and it works really well and it's really soft, so. I got candles on candles on candles because I'm always burning candles. This one is almost burned and I just got it like a few days ago. This is matcha and bergamot smells so good this one is sweet almond blossom this is my favorite candle that i've smelled maybe ever crystal flora i've gone through like a bunch of them and they're always out but i found it when i was there last time so i picked that shit up it smells so good i also ordered a candle from malibu apothecary because i heard that they they smell really good they're like 40 dollars. it's kind of fucking insane i got laguna beach which is sugar and vanilla bean it smells like a regular sugar and vanilla bean candle but like you know it's local and shit um i got a satin sleep mask which i don't use because i sleep on my face but i always just want to like these i want to use these i have these to represent the fact that i bought a bunch of organizing things and i have organized every cupboard and drawer in my apartment my makeup my bathroom cupboards my kitchen cupboards like i have they're not all tiny like this like i have like big trays and stuff like that but these are my leftover ones at the moment and this to represent my organization that i've done oh <laughs> careful hi i got a foot mask which I've done these before. Brene Brown is my favorite, I'm gonna say author, but also just like person ever. I love, I've, I just love her. I think I started reading her in 2015 and she got me through a lot of really hard times. I read every single book of hers while I was in the Denver Acute Hospital, um, cause I couldn't, I literally couldn't do anything. This is a newer one and they were selling it at Target. So I'm really excited to read this. I haven't like read a book in the longest time and it's, sad like i'll read i mean i guess i've read books like online and stuff but like i love Brene brown she has a podcast if you want to listen to it um i got huh, this is we're gonna skip this one i got canvases because i really want to paint but they were all out of paint and paint brushes like every time i've gone to look they've been out of it and these were actually the last of the canvases there's two tiny ones and then this is two bigger ones ow once i get paint and brushes I'm a paint or I'll just like do a video and someone said, what did someone tell me to use? They're like, if you want to be really medieval, you can crush up rose petals or something. And I was like, what if I just use like ketchup and barbecue sauce or like makeup? I talked about this in a vlog. I got this freaking mirror that was going to go in front of my vanity so that I don't have to put a mirror on it and like take up all the space. It's one of those like da -na 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 -na, extendo mirror things where it goes into the wall and then pops out. He's Oh. That was bright. Online, it didn't say it was hardwired. It said it plugged into the wall. You gotta hardwire this shit. So I'm probably not gonna use this or I'm gonna like task rabbit somebody to do it. But also I don't know if you can even install it there because it depends. It just kind of pisses me off. Like why does it say online that it plugs into an outlet? No bitch, it doesn't. You gotta even install the light bulb yourself. It's like an expensive thing too. Anyway, I did buy it during quarantine. Um, Is that it? Oh, this to represent the multitude of these that I've purchased because obviously no one's getting their nails done right now and actually even before quarantine I was doing this for like a year. The nails that you can glue on yourself. Obviously I'm rocking some right now. I've been talking for so long I'm gonna put all this shit back where it came from and I'll see you guys the next time something shows up at my doorstep that I ordered. Let me think is there anything else that I like immediately need to talk about? I don't think so. So yesterday I got my mail and I had something because it's small so it fit in my mailbox and then just now I got my dolls kill package. So far everything is literally coming like in the reverse order of which I placed the order question mark because dolls kill I ordered this the day that I filmed the last clip. I ordered that on Thursday and it's Saturday and it just came. And then the other thing that I got, which is the mask that I ordered from Etsy, I believe I ordered that on Wednesday. The mask took five days, which is super good, especially because it's Etsy. I've been trying to track my misguided order. I don't know if that's ever gonna show up. Um, let's open my packages. Eee! Excitement. Oh, I'm also wearing two of the things that I showed you. Cute, and the colors look good when I have my pink hair clipped in, which I clipped in like a few 
pieces today because why not and then here's the shorts which i've done some tiktoks in now because i'm a real tiktoker now boom 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 i look tired i woke up this morning with like really puffy eyes which has happened quite often recently i don't know what i'm allergic to but i can tell it's an allergic reaction because i'm super itchy too my eyes are like super swollen and like watery i don't know what that is if i'm suddenly allergic to my cat or what's going on but this came from new jersey and this etsy shop is called her golden pretties I'm gonna hold for my ice maker i think i already said i would link everything below but i'll link this shop below thank you for your order have a nice day and it came in this little bag oh, i'm excited oh this is sick okay this is hella good quality too this is such good quality oh my gosh this is so exciting, and I don't care that it's not real Louis Vuitton. I don't care. They don't need my money, okay? I would rather support small businesses. And also, I don't even know if they make face masks, but, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to do a lot of shopping on Etsy. This, like, goes up to my eyeballs. I must have, like, a really small face. <laughs> I think it's, like, a little big for me. Like, you see this? I know I have a pretty small face. This seems like it's, like, really big, though. I mean, it's a lot bigger than the checkered one that I have from Doll's Kill. <laughs> It looks like I have. Maybe there's a way I can work around that. I guess I do like, probably have like a small face and a small nose. I feel like this would probably fit a man really well. But I'm still gonna wear it. It's better than no mask. Let me take the Dolls Kill stuff out of the package first, then go throw that away, then wash my hands, then come back. <laughs> okay, these pants that I'm about to show you were originally 105. They were on clearance for 37. The hoodie was originally 60 on clearance for 36. But then I ended up getting like $21 off of that would have been $165. I paid like $52. Okay. I look at that as a win. Let me just show you them. This is the hoodie. This was the last one in stock actually. And it's a medium because, oh, it's in the colors. What is, what? is someone like slamming their door repeatedly outside? Really bright. And it has like barbed wire fucking I don't know, it's just cool, okay? It says misery on it. One of those things that's like, what does that even mean? But like, it's just cool looking. Oh, I guess misery worldwide is the... I like that there's no tag, it's just printed on there. Oh, yes, bitch. Oh, these are the Mary Jane Knight brand, which is super expensive. Again, me just buying things that are expensive for no... Like these shorts that I'm wearing that were like $60, but they're like just champion shorts. But again, these were 105 on sale for 36 they say 69 all over them. Oh, you just, did you just see my boob? Sorry. These are extra small, but they're oversized. I think these might've been like one of the last ones. Look at that, yes! Why am I blanking on what that, it's not Chevron. Wait, is it Chevron? No. Why am I blanking on that? Is it just 76 station? Is that what it's called? I knew it was a 76, but I was like, is there a different name for that? Is that just called 76? Whatever, it says 69, but it's the 76 logo. I'm guessing that gas station's just called 76 station. Why is, oh, Route 76? I don't, <laughs> you know what the logo is, but it says 69. These are really, really high quality metal on the end. A metal aglet, if you will. Yeah, I learned that word from The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. There's pockets, there's even a back pocket. There's a pocket right here. Bug is laying on my hoodie right now. You can see her down there. I'll take these pants for a spin. Then I'll show you them. Is anyone else just like going a little bit insane? It's kind of weird. Do you like your waffle maker? Yeah, I love it. I'm back with some more stuff and also some news. <laughs> I joked earlier in this video about this being like a two-part video, but I'm actually gonna make it a two-part video because number one, the Upbra swimsuit that you saw at the beginning of this video launched on the 9th, the 11th? One of those days. Either way, like it's the 14th. What is the fucking day? I don't even, does anyone really know what the date is anymore? I don't know. I think it's the 14th today. So it's already launched and so I want to get this up so you guys can get one if you want before they sell out. And then secondly, this video wouldn't be able to go up until after the 20th because for some reason my misguided shit like just got through customs. It's been like two weeks, even though I paid for like five day shipping. 
um, and so that's not gonna be here for a few more days and then another package isn't gonna be here for until the 20th also my dresser will be here on the 20th apparently I figure I'll just make this two parts plus I have a lot of footage to go through and edit so this would just I want to get a video for you guys too and I want you guys to be able to get a swimsuit before they're fucking gone you know I think that's all I have to say for now right right I, probably not but I'm gonna end it anyway bye I would like to just draw attention to something that's probably already drawing your attention because it looks like Kelly Kapowski shit all over my head. <laughs>